Well, hello there, everybody. Look at that. Let me make one. Yep, that's working. How are you guys doing on this magnificent Monday? You know why it's magnificent? Because today is the day you get to do great things. My name is Tom Rigsby, also known as the Unashamed Nonconformist. We might even talk about that a little bit this week. And hey, speaking of doing great things, somebody has a chance right now to knock Joe off of uh, the top of the heap as the first to say good morning. He beats everybody right now. There's nothing in there. You guys have a wide open opportunity. Hey, all right. So listen, if you are, while we're waiting on that, <clears throat> if you're watching or if you're listening rather on your favorite podcast catcher, be that iTunes, Stitcher, uh, TuneIn, whatever the case may be, or maybe you're watching on YouTube, be sure to head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com, 7minutesinthemorning.com, where you get to see the live stream live as it happens and even see the puppy dog come into, uh, come into the office here to help me out. Hey, Catherine, she has won the contest and unseated Joe as the good morning champion. Hey, so. Uh, when you do get over to 7minutesinthemorning.com, you can do what Catherine just did. Leave a comment, say good morning, give it a thumbs up, whatever the case may be in your, uh, in, in your purview to let everybody know that you're watching and enjoy the show. So I hope you had a great weekend. I did. Man, for some reason, Saturday, I was just toasted Saturday. Uh, yeah, your check's in the mail, Catherine. It, it'll be there soon. Just keep looking for it. Saturday, man, wasted. I don't know what. Uh, whew, I was tired. Even for me, I was ready to go to bed early. But, uh, man, yesterday, it's a good day. I'm all pumped up. Got good stuff in the, in the log in the plan for this week. So you guys just have to buckle up and be ready. All right. So today, I wanted to talk today about jumping off the diving board. That was the title I gave this morning show. And uh, it, it occurred to me because over the weekend, our granddaughter, uh, who shows up here with me sometimes on Friday mornings, um, she was with us over the weekend, and we were spent a lot of time in the pool, as is normally the case when she is around. And we've been working on jumping off the diving board. And... So last, or I guess it was two weeks ago, maybe we were in the pool and I, I pushed her up on my hands, let her jump off my hands. And then I said, hey, look, where you just jumped off, off of my hands is higher than the diving board. Why don't you go jump off the diving board? And she said, okay, and jumped out, ran around, jumped off the diving board. So whether it's jumping off the diving board, whether it's diving in without doing a belly flop, whether it's riding a bicycle or calling prospects, or uh, putting forth an idea that's going to be challenged in the business, whatever the case may be. Why? So, and this is the question, you know, for the day. Why are the most rewarding things difficult? It's really not that complicated. The answer is pretty straightforward. <laughs> if it's too easy then it's boring. And and we know, I mean, we know, really, we don't deserve that ninth place ribbon. You know that, you know, they make ribbons for ninth place. We know deep down that that level of effort really wasn't, wasn't sufficient to be rewarding. If something's too easy, it's just, it's not, that it's just not good enough to be rewarding. On the other hand, if it's too hard, if it's impossible, we don't even really want to try. Right? So you've got the too easy that we don't really want to do and the too hard that we don't really want to do, but that difficult thing in the middle. It's not easy, but it's not impossible. That's where that, that's kind of what falls in the middle. Now, why is that the most rewarding? Because, I mean, think about it for just a minute. First time you rode a bike down the block and didn't fall. First time you, uh, you know, I don't know, spoke in public, jumped off the diving board, right? And then belly flop. 
man, weren't we excited about that? And the funny thing is it happened a lot as kids, right? I mean, a lot of those examples are the kind of things that you do uh, as kids. Why are we afraid to do them as adults? I don't know. We're afraid. Fear is a good thing, right? Tells our mind to pay attention. But what are we afraid of? Well, right. All right, sure. If you're jumping off the diamond board and you belly flop, that might hurt. Not going to drown. Just hurt, right? The fall over on the bike, yeah, it might hurt, right? I even came close to breaking an arm one time doing that. But the point is that most of the time, what we're really afraid of is bruising the ego. We don't want to have to say, well, I tried that and I wasn't able to do it. It's better for our ego just to say, yeah, I didn't really, I, that's not the right thing for me. That's, that, that's not, you know, something I'm really interested in. Yeah, and I agree with, with that, Catherine. It, you know, the devil you know versus the devil you don't know. We are comfortable in, how'd you say it? We are, we are comfortable in our uncomfortableness because at least it's familiar. Yeah. So that leads me to today's peroration. Did you know peroration was a word? Catherine, you might know peroration was a word. Some of the rest of you might know it was a word. That's your word for the day. If you don't know what that is, peroration, 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 go out there and look that up. Here's the point, right? I want you to do something today. Do something today that you're uncomfortable doing. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. If you want to be out, I mean, we've talked about this. I think I said this on the radio show the last time. You know, if you're not the lead dog, the scenery doesn't change very often. If you want to be out in front of the pack, you have to do things the rest of the pack won't do. Get comfortable being uncomfortable, right? Do something today. So here's your question. What are you going to do in the next 50 minutes? You have until 8 o'clock Central Time. What are you going to do in the next 50 minutes to be uncomfortable? Now your brain's working on it. It can't not work on it. I've dropped that little success bomb in your brain and now it's going to go off here shortly all right look that's it for today i we're going to talk about doing things that make you uncomfortable all week so if you're uncomfortable with that you better be here again tomorrow because that's what we're talking about and you got to do something that makes you uncomfortable so you might as well be here if these conversations are helpful for you i would appreciate it tremendously and so will the people in your network if you share them with your network let them know that they can join us on this journey as well. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a great Monday, and I'll be back talk to you again in the morning.